Lester Circle. I know it has been a long time since I've um, uploaded a video, and that's because um, there's just been exams coming up, and I had to study real hard for them, like six months. Seriously. Okay. Anyways, today I'll be teaching you how to fold a paper airplane called Firework that is made by me. And um, it's just a very beautiful glider. I mean, it doesn't look beautiful, but it flies real good. And you just throw it upwards and it'll glide down. Okay, so we're starting. All you need to fold the firework is um, a sheet of paper. Now, wait. The instructions for getting that sheet of paper um, is an out by 11 and A4 both will work. I'm using A4. And you see how you have a full size sheet? Okay, this way. You have a full size sheet. You just fold it in half and cut it for that line or tear it, whatever. And then you'll get this kind of sheet. And also, you also need a ruler and a pencil or a pen. Okay, so to all so let's start. Okay, so start by folding your paper in half like so. Let me just oh, okay now fold in half like so. Okay, now precision is very important. You don't want to miss that. And if you do, then your plane will be turning out um, asymmetrical, and that will affect on its flight. It will go like, if your right side is bigger than your left side, then it will most likely just tumble to the left side. And I am i don't think, I'm not sure if it's going to tumble to the left side, or it might tumble to the right side, but whatever, it won't fly great. Okay, second step is to fold this edge towards the center and you're just gonna do that on both sides okay on this side as well okay now you can just bring your ruler okay now I hope I'm pretty clear over here you're just gonna measure from the bottom two and a half centimeters and you cannot estimate this this is really important okay so i'm just gonna measure two and a half centimeters right there and now i've already measured it and i'll just take your time and do that and i'll just fold it up to the okay now once you've done that you can turn it over and you have to mark again one centimeter from the top and i've already marked that again so i'll just Hold it down. Okay. Once you've done that, you can just fold this edge towards the center. And now you can do the same thing on the other side. I hope I'm clear. I'm just going to show you the plane so far. And you can match it up with what yours look like. looks like. Okay, now once I've done that, you can open these two up. Okay, now once you've opened it up, you can fold this edge back to the crease you just made. So, I'm just going to tilt it over to the camera so you guys can see. I'm just folding that to that crease. Right, you can leave a little gap to make it fold properly. Eh, it's not that important anyway. No, I mean it is important. The fold is important, but making a gap is important. Now we came on the other side. Okay, you can close that up. Now you can fold this. You see this tab? You can see this tab on your plane, right? You're just gonna fold that up. Now you're gonna fold that back down about a half of a centimeter. Now you're gonna break your ruler. And measure that half and half of a centimeter. Now you're gonna do it from the very top. Now you can just fold it down to that. And now you can reverse that crease. Okay. 
So now the plane looks like this. Wait a second. Okay, now the plane looks like this. Instead of instead of this. Okay. Now once I've done that, now here comes a tricky step. Okay, okay, now once I've done that, you uh okay, here comes a tricky step, like I said. I'm gonna fold that in half. Once you do that, you see you see that this pocket will come out. And if that doesn't, then you're just gonna put your finger in that pocket and then it'll it'll pop out its own self and then you can fold that in half. Now it looks like this. Now I'm gonna show try to show it the best I can on camera. So it basically the step goes like I'm gonna pull this down. Now you see okay, just wait. You see that there's a crease on this plane? I mean that crease that center crease, that nice center crease. You just gotta press down on that so that it lands on like between these two oh, oh, flaps. And now once you've flattened that you can um, fold this back. Fold this back. Okay. Pull that back so that this edge, that tiny edge, lands on this bottom edge. Okay, and I'd like you to hold the plane up for this because it's pretty hard to, um, yeah, it's pretty hard to do this without lifting it up. And now, okay, once you've done that, you can open the lock back up to its original state. So you're just going to pull, you can just fold these flaps back up and that'll force the main lock to go up okay now once you've done that you see the new crease we made this crease this you see that bending point you're just gonna reverse that crease reverse the crease the um diagonal crease you see that there are two diagonal creases one is just after the center crease this the 45 degree angle one and one is after that 45 degree angle one. You're just gonna reverse the after the 45 degree angle crease and then do the same thing on the other side. And now there you go, you have the lock. Now you're just gonna pull the wing um, by folding the wings first. Now the wings are gonna be from the lock just Actually, you're not gonna fold from the lock. You're gonna fold just before the locks because if you fold to the lock, then it's gonna tear. Fold just to the lock, just before the lock, and you're gonna make it parallel to this bottom edge. And wait, I'm gonna fold this first and then I'll explain how. Okay, wait. Sorry, I think it cut off the video a bit. You're just gonna fold this back. Now, okay, so what I did is, you see how I folded it, and you see how this edge matches up with this edge. That's exactly what you do. Take your time, fold the plane, fold the wings, I mean, and then after that, you can just book match it. Uh, don't need to do the same thing, like I said, precision, precision over doing, uh, being accurate. Okay, now once you have it in this shape, you can just fold the winglets about half a centimeter. Now this, you don't have to measure, you're just gonna estimate that there's a mosquito. And you're gonna make it parallel to the wings. And you can just do the same thing on the other side. Okay, do the same thing on the other side.
Okay, now once you've done that, you're just gonna lay the wing that's being flat. There you go, the finished firework. Now, if you see, it might dive down. This plane will most likely dive down. Just test it before, but if it is, then you're just gonna add a tiny amount of elevator, up elevator, I mean. And if it is rotating either way, it is gonna add aileron adjustment on both sides, both. Okay, and there you go, our finished firework. Okay, like I promised, test flights.